All right. This, uh, this song I'm doing is, was written in 1910 by a vaudevillian named Charlie Case. But I hope even though it's over 100 years old, we can glean something for, from it. This first part of the song is about the rewards of fidelity. It's very joyful, so. There once was a poor young girl who left her country home to go to the great big city to seek employment. She had to leave her home and family because the wolf was at the door for her father had fallen down and hurt his knee. As she packed her bag, her sweetheart, whose name was Jack, cried to her, I fear you will not be true. And so as she boarded the train, she made him a solemn vow that every night at 8.30 she would burst into tears. When she got into the city, she went a-riding on a streetcar. And a man rose up and offered her his seat. But she treated his offer with scorn, for she saw that he wore a ring. And she didn't know but what he might be a married man. Then up leapt the conductor and shouted, I knew you would be true. And he tore off his false whiskers, and it was Jack. And then she got a telegram saying her father's knee was better and her aunt had died and left her $58,000. So that was joyful, but you know, if we don't, we don't listen to what we're taught, sometimes it can go bad for her. I hate to end on a sour note, but this, this last part of the song has a very good message for us, so pay heed. There once was a poor young man who left his country home and came to the great big city to seek employment. He promised his porter aged mother he would lead a simple life and always shun the evil curse of drink. When he got into the city, he took employment in a factory and while there he made the acquaintance of some college men. He little knowed they was demons, for they wore the very best of clothes, but clothes don't always make a gentleman. One evening he went out with his newfound friends to dine, and while there they tried to persuade him to take a drink. They tempted and they tempted, he refused and he refused, till finally he took a glass of beer. Well, when he seed what he had done, he dashed the liquor to the floor and staggered out the door with delirium tremens. And while in the evil throes of the liquor, he met a Salvation Army lassie, and cruelly he broke her tambourine. Well, all she said was, heaven bless you, and laid a mark upon his brow with a kick that she learned from before she was saved. So friends, take my advice and shun the evil curse of drink. And don't go around breaking people's tambourines.